I'm a legend, but spy on my presence. Don't test me, I'm ready. My drip like Hokage. See, you and I, we both had nothing in common. I move like a cashier, I do shit to roll. Let's go, let's go. Just should know, be friend of unknown. Said I gotta show that I'm winning. Got cuts, so not here for us. I kill him. We all cut throws. Had to put the work in. Show What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is your boy Falcon. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to build your Nyx up. I know it's very controversial right now if people like Nyx or hate Nyx or what you think of Nyx or if they're not, if you don't think Nyx is that great. Personally, for me, I think she's very mid in my opinion. She's definitely not Athena. Athena is much better and you definitely should not be pulling on Nyx for the banner. Um, because, I'm in my opinion, this is in my humble opinion because Athena is much better and unless you're a well, you... You're getting the free copy anyway, so don't pull next. Do not do that. Save it for anniversary, save it for something else, or get Athena only. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I hope you guys are enjoying these um, build videos. If you guys are, make sure you guys like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to see my thought process on how I come up with these builds, um, let me know. Because I was going to film a video where I was doing my thought process and everything, but it kind of was long because I had to keep going back and like finding new ruins and go and do that. So it took a little bit of time um it was like a 20 minute video this one's not gonna be a 20 minute video it's gonna be very straightforward um but yeah let me know if you guys want to actually see that and how i formulate and you know cook up in the motherfucking kitchen with all of these you know builds that i'll be showing you guys and this one may be a little different than what you guys um see um but me personally i think if you're this is like an in-game one and i think it's one that definitely should build if you're an in-game player um but yeah i'll tell you why as we go through this and i'll tell you how you can build it if you're not in game if you're kind of like eh, you can build it that way but yeah let's get into this hope you guys enjoy it let's get it um let me go over here now i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys how i build her um uh, let's go over here let's go over here hold up where is she where is she she got she right next to my girl we got nyx right here boom okay i see you girl uh, you know what we gotta show her off because just for the people who don't have her yet or haven't seen it or didn't look at it this is how her little summon animation is because i know no one's summoning for her because she's not worth summoning for and i'm gonna be real and be blatant she definitely needs a buff she's not as strong as chloe but obviously she has more utility than chloe but like her utility is kind of weird because there's nothing really to go around her but i think they're trying to do that um they may build some more stuff around silence and they feel like they're trying to flesh out silence like maybe Zong now might be good with her i don't know i gotta i gotta cook up you know in the in the dislike lab you feel me but i think she could be nice um in some types of some contents definitely in fat there but let's get into this um usually i go here i'm just gonna run you through how i formulate it and i look what, what's popular what people are thinking um obviously for me i gotta run thunder if she's a dps i'm running thunder um and uh if, since i'm a late game instead of running fiery i run avatar because i think avatar is better especially for this one for her s1 her s1 is so good if she, if she can reproc it because let's look at this it puts people to sleep and it gives extra damage while she's in stealth um and for elaine i actually i know if she's not in stealth she can't if she's in stealth she can't even be hit you guys are probably gonna be saying that but i'm like if she's not in stealth then she can be hit you know so it would be good to do that <laughs> um and if she hits while she what's called is um basically attacked she has a 50 percent chance of ignoring 25 percent of the defense um when attacking enemies they're asleep so actually maybe i mean yeah, i mean this this build is probably better if she's at r2 like yeah i would say this is better for her if she's r2 so if you're gonna get her r2 this will be much better because when she's at r2 um let me read it out for you she has a chance of ignoring some defense when attacking enemies without sleep so she, so she can do that defense negation when things aren't sleep, which is the only way that that's gonna proc. That defense is that defense break or ignoring is gonna proc, because <laughs> obviously if someone's sleeping, they can't attack back at, they can't attack back to her. So yeah, but if someone is atta does attack her back, she can't put them to sleep basically. Like she can, she can counter attack and put them put them to sleep and then follow up after she get when she gets her turn. So it's also useful for that um but it'll get more value at her r2 because also the chance increases to 100 percent when attacking enemies with sleep so she'll be ignoring um their defense um a lot more frequently so yeah um just know that it's a cool s1 just to put people to sleep and to basically spread the sleep around to everyone so 
it's useful still just not as useful as it can be and just going back through it for, through the resonances um at r4 she gets a really good resonance which probably increases her damage a lot more because she basically gets a, a flat 45 percent out of boss extra 45 percent crit damage and we don't know how that how good that is because no one none of us have r for her so i'm assuming that's going to make her damage even crazier and she start comes out with an extra 15 percent crit damage just innately until enemies start dropping like flies um then there are six i'm not even gonna go over that because it's not even that great in my opinion um it's like very eh. um it may be better in the future um i might be eating my words or maybe they'll make her better but personally i'm not a fan just saying um Ah, yeah. But let's get into this. Let's get into this. I'm going to show you guys how I build her. Um, personally, like I said, I would make sure she's closer to 80% accuracy. If you can't get her at 80% accuracy with the with this, um, maybe you want to run recurve. You could run recurve. But she definitely needs to have really high accuracy because you want her to be proccing all of her, you know, debuffs. Because she has a ton of debuffs. She has freaking buff blocker. She has sleep. She has freaking... Um, attack down she has more sleep she has more sleep you just want her to have high accuracy um me i settled for 70 percent because i didn't want to compromise for damage and she has 45 or 55 percent accurate rate but i always plan to run her with my what's called ethan and my ethan's gonna give 30 percent extra anyway um to crit rate so she's gonna run like 85 which is high enough for me pers personally i don't need her to be hitting crits every freaking hit even though she does like get good like she her her what's called third skill does like kind of work off of crits she transfers one debuff from each ally to the target upon a crit basically so eh, i mean it does work well but i would personally run her on this you know thunder and avatar i run crit damage attack bonus and attack bonus because i feel like it's easier to speed tune around this when you everyone when all your dps's are kind of in the slower point you know it's a little easier instead of running the speed at that you can run speed for your third one if you want but me personally i run attack bonus um also for the the secondary skills or the secondary attributes i would definitely make sure attack bonus is on there crit rate accuracy and crit damage what's that yeah attack bonus crit rate accuracy oh, hold up hold up let's do it again crit rate crit damage attack bonus and accuracy and i would say for uh, honorable mention speed but i feel like speed is more so so you can tune your espers properly that's what i would say speed is one of those things you should add on your own accord so if you, let's say you need her to go first you need someone else to go first speed is one of those things you sprinkle in um obviously to kind of speed tune your teams um but this is the way you should definitely build her like as you see this is probably one of my best runes that i have um on her right now it's an attack has crit damage speed attack bonus and crit rate very good um for this one it's very average i mean it's a it's above average in my opinion because it's crit rate attack bonus and accuracy um for this one this one's kind of also above average has attack bonus accuracy and crit rate for our crit damage we have speed crit rate and accuracy i try to aim for three subs of them to be like if you want it to be a pretty decent unit for it to be relevant um attack flat a flat attack is relevant i guess but it's like eh it's like it doesn't help as much as something else would have um and this one this one's kind of below average it has crit damage and attack could have accuracy which would have been better for this actually just for you guys for the homies at home let's re-roll this one because this one could be better for some with two oh my god that's a lot of act that's a lot of crit rate. Hold up. I'm going to keep that one. Let's. I would. I, you want to roll three, though. You want to roll three. Dang, that's a lot of speed. And accuracy. Hmm. I like that. That's four in the speed. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see how that looks real quick. Oh, that looks good. I just wish there was more crit. Let's. You know, that, that's the problem with this. I'm going to roll it one more time. Because I like the four speed. Cause that's crazy yeah i think we're gonna keep that that's gonna make her quick as a whip yeah i think we're gonna keep that that's nice that right there crit rate accuracy speed and i'm closer to 80 80 accuracy i'm at 76 percent accuracy that's better um what else we're going here this one's pretty good as well attack bonus um accuracy crit rate and this one yeah uh, i went through all of them but yeah that this is how i would build her 
personally. Obviously, you would like to have more crit damage on her, but like I said, if she's at R4, she's gonna get an extra 45% towards the end of that ish anyway. And yeah, she's gonna be nice. Um, I would like to see her at full, like what's called a Billamond out see how much she does because i feel like a lot of people are testing her out without abilamon and they're judging her her damage on that i think she may be nice but she may need to be really invested into because like for this she gains like she doesn't gain like a crazy amount she gets like seven percent or something like that um she gains like what is this six percent on this but like you have to have to understand she hits um five times so that six percent is going to be thirty percent for this one that seven percent it's going, is it seven? Yeah, it is seven percent. That seven percent is going to be 35 percent. And for this one, she hits once, so you're going to get a lot bigger of a buff. It's going to go up to what's that 20 percent, 20 percent increase. So she may be stronger, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Um, don't, don't sleep on there. She may be nice when she's fully invested, but as no investments in there, she's probably kind of mid. I think she's kind of mid personally. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like her? Have you invested in her? Um, do you just have you just invested in her because she because she looks bad as fuck? Um, let me know. Um, but yeah, if you guys got anything out of this and you guys want to see more types of build videos, comment down below. Another aspect that you guys want to see me build and see me talk about and see just more content on the channel. Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you made it this far and you guys want to see more content from me, type down chicken nugget in the comment section. Type chicken nugget. I want some chicken nuggets right now. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, we go into the top, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when my videos come out. We go into that. We're not gonna stop. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Someone like you and all you know and how you speak. So